Super Vectorizer is an app by Effect Matrix Incorporated and is available in the Apple Mac App Store. Now the app, what it does is it basically traces your images and converts them to like a vector uh, format. So you basically input your raster bitmap images into the app and do you play around with the options trying to get the best output possible based on the options provided and from then it will do its job and trace the image um, and you will be provided with a preview and if you're satisfied you can export it to I think SVG uh, AI uh, I'm not really sure I'll we'll go into that later but the app itself let's go into the app itself so in the app itself um, it's it's like a drag and drop interface you can import an image um, right here or you can simply drag and drop your image and these are some sunglasses so the, there's two modes there's uh, an edge mode and a color mode with the edge mode you're provided a threshold and I can basically with the lower threshold it's gonna be like uh, more tolerant to edges so it's gonna draw the e draw more edges with a higher threshold it's gonna be uh, you know less tolerant so it's gonna draw less edges you know it's gonna require the contrast between probably colors to be greater or something like that but uh, there's a color mode which most of you will use and um, as you can see the nice thing about this is that it, it has a kind of a like it has a preview state where it pre-processes as you can see down here and then after a while See, look, when, when you're editing it, when you're holding this down, it's in a pre-process state, and it gives you an, a, a result, but when you release it, 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 it takes it forward and vectorizes the image and then shows you the final result. However, you can still modify it, and it will quickly give you the pre-processed image, and then it will convert it to the vectorized image. And the smooth radius is another option. Um, it, it, it it's it, it's like basically an option where you can smooth the um smooth the flow of colors i mean the less with the smooth radius there there's more like kind of like a noise i'm going to go ahead and zoom in, into it and a quick tip you can zoom into it holding the command key and scrolling in or actually just scrolling in just found that out right now and you can pan around by clicking and as you can see, there's the, like that kind of like noise. And if we do this, increase the smooth radius, um, it will be kind of like unified. So it's it's a it's a better blend. Um, but every image has its own circumstances, and um, definitely you're gonna have you're not always gonna need that high smooth radius. So you you're always gonna need to play around um, with the options. And as you can see, it produces a pretty nice output, especially when we increase the colors. So we are. It, it, it actually looks pretty real with the reflections. Obviously, this is a, this is an image which has hundreds, if not thousands, of colors. And you know, doing this with 32 colors and tracing it automatically is a really nice. Uh, has a, it has a really nice output. Um, considering it's only right now, as of right now, it's for 19.99, and it's really worth it since other apps in the same uh, criteria are usually costs hundreds of hundreds of dollars and this app could save you hours um, you know processing uh, images vectorizing images because um, uh, tracing images if you've ever traced images by hand you know that it's gonna take you a long time just for an image to get an optimal you know result uh, on the other hand this gives you a really nice result I mean I'm using this sample image uh, I'm pretty sure there are other images that if I would use um, such as computer generated images those are going to be real nice so this is probably going to get real nice results with computer generated images um, obviously better than a photo you know it's hard to redraw a photo so especially this one with a lot of shadows um, uh, and light at a very you know a weird angle so I'm gonna go ahead and pop in another photo and we'll see what we'll get from there alright guys I'm back and I I have a new uh, photo I wanted to try out um, I just generated this myself as a second test 
and um, you know I'm gonna have uh, I'm just gonna import it real quick and this is the original photo preview and result and as you can see it's uh, it's quite uh, it's quite accurate with computer generated uh, images which is uh, which is really um, nice uh, as you can see the text this is my first time trying this uh, image, and uh, I think the only difference I can spot is a little that this is kind of sharper, and uh, the color on the heart changed a bit. Let me zoom into that. Okay, as you can see, that's the um, raster image, and then the result you have that uh, it's drawn. As you can see, it looks real nice and sharp. And as you as you zoom out, it looks real sharp. Even though, so as you can see, it's kind of blurry. And there we go. And um, I can actually reduce the color number. I know there are only uh, a couple colors here. So as I told you, um, playing around with the options would help a lot. A lot. Increasing the smooth radius. I don't know how that's gonna go. Let's leave that at one. Um, put the colors at like six, and we'll see how it goes from here. So it has a little blue around it, but still, I mean, I I think I could probably edit this SVG by hand and take that out. But I mean, it does it does a lot of you know a lot of the work that would have taken me a long time by hand, and it's a really nice utility. Uh, I would highly recommend this, as you can see, like. It traced it almost exactly. Um, the only difference I see is the color. And if I, I actually, I probably could fix that um, manually or by, you know, changing the colors myself. But I could, I, I, I could probably um, change that manually. Anyways, I can export this, and and to in a PDF, a SVG, and an AI, and a DXF. Um, Let's go with SVG, and uh, I'm gonna save it to my. Okay. I'm gonna save it to. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop, and I'm gonna call it Heart, and I'm gonna save it as SVG. And it, as you can see, it's right here. I'm gonna rate this actually later, and I'm gonna zoom into it. And as you can see, we have a huge image. Um, really nice image, and I'm going to actually uh, open this in Safari. So I'm in Safari right now, and uh, here I am with the SVG. I can zoom into this probably, and it's still really sharp. It looks really nice on the branded display. Also, um, I said, so this is the path and all that that it's taking. I can actually probably edit the colors. Uh, I'm not sure which which is which, which is which. Pretty sure this is the heart since it has more points. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill it uh, blue. See how that works. See, I can change the color manually, so I can edit things around with the colors and all that. Uh, you know, after after uh, it's done with the SVG, or you can edit the PDF or you know. Uh, whatever you like so I can change this heart to red so it does all the hard work um, the app does all the hard work it traces the image and you know you can change the colors manu manually if you'd like I can also change some points like uh, 493 I can make that fit 593 and I can I'm pretty sure I see I can change the points and uh, change that back and there we go so I can change things around I can uh, it's a really nice app. I can. I'm pretty sure I can also change things around in a vector uh, application to edit um, vector images and that supports SVGs. So um, to sum it up, a really nice app, uh, affordable, um, uh, easy to work with. You know, looks real nice on the Mac, native. I like things that come from the App Store. Um, you know, reliable um, and uh, really affordable. Um, Applications. Once I said, as I said it um, previously, in the same, you know, area, um, uh, applications that draw 
manually draw, uh, vectorize, if you will, your applications, um, your images, sorry, uh, costs hundreds of dollars, and this one only costs $19.99 at the moment, so I would totally recommend this application, uh, real nice application, and uh, uh, it pretty much explains itself. I'm pretty sure the people who um, draw or uh, vectorize these have a lot of uh, images to vectorize, know the value of time and how long it could take to manually draw an image and do all that stuff. So this one does it accurately um, and all that. So it's only $19.99 in the App Store and I would totally recommend this application. Other than that, I think that um, maybe just add uh, as some features to add, maybe just update the logo of the app. You know, there's some gloss showing in the corners that should have been cut off. Um, uh, maybe increase the color number. Uh, give options to change the color, like a paint bucket tool. Maybe some. Uh, maybe give, uh, have a pencil tool, like to manually uh, trace in some stuff to, um, you know, kind of play around with how the uh, application detects the curves and all that to. Um, to, to kind of like change manipulate the output and also um, maybe add an uh, option to choose the amount of scans increase the number of scans um, so other than that everything is uh, really nice in this it does most of the hard work as I said uh, tracing it and doing all that so um, thank you for watching uh, and have a nice day